Hey guys, it's Raze. I'm here bringing you uh, kind of a, a different sort of video. And before I begin, I want to say that this is kind of a vlog. I'm going to be explaining a few things about the YouTube channel, about my life, uh, what's been going on this summer. Kind of maybe clarify some things. Um, for those of you who watch my stream, you probably will already know a lot of this. Um, but I wanted to kind of like lump it all into one video because I was getting a lot of questions about it. And I feel like if I were able to you know, put it all together in one video, it would kind of like be like a, a resource, you know, that way if people are asked a question, we can just like redirect them here. Um, but before I begin, I do want to say that uh, I apologize for having to look at like my face. Um, if you want to like open this up in another tab or, or close it completely, I fully, I fully understand that. I respect it. Um, but yeah, no, I, this is, this is, this is a gross face. I, I just, I felt like I wanted to have a face cam with it because if I just had audio, it would be, it would be pretty bad. Um, it wouldn't be interesting and I don't really know how the face cam helps, but I don't know, I guess it feels more personal that way. Uh, anyways, let's let's go ahead and dig right in here. Um, so one of the first things I had on my list here, I've got a, got a list of things that I wanted to bring up, was um, the HUD tutorials. And for those of you who are subscribed to my YouTube channel solely for HUD content, which is probably a lot of you, <laughs> because that's been the majority of my uh, channel's content up until this point, um, I want to apologize. Uh, because a lot of you that subscribed solely for my HUD tutorials um, probably don't know a whole lot about my stream. Uh, some of you might, I don't know, but uh, I'm going to assume that a lot of you do not. And uh, again, I want to apologize that I haven't put out a video um, related to the HUD from scratch series or just anything HUD related in general in a long time. Um, I've been kind of busy using my free time doing other things. Uh, I guess the majority of that's been towards my stream, uh, which I'll be talking about um, a little bit later, but I, I I wanted to apologize to you guys because I haven't put in making videos in a while because I've been distracted doing other things, and um, I guess I would like to officially uh, announce a bit of a hiatus on the HUD from Scratch series. I mean, as you could already tell because I haven't been uploading videos, I wasn't actively making them at the current time, but I just want to let you guys know that um, I, I guess like until the indefinite future. I don't have a time set. I'm kind of postponing those. Um, but I assume I'll probably get remotivated and pick them up again soon whenever uh, the launch of the HUD, it's either HUD or HUDs.tf, I can't remember which one, website comes out. And for those of you who don't know what that is, it's a website being made by a guy named Omni who made Noto HUD. Some of you might have heard of that HUD. Some of you might be using it. Um, it's a website that's supposed to be a resource for all TF2 HUD related things, you know, so there's going to be like um, HUDs, like downloads to HUDs, and like resources about like HUD creating and like all sorts of things that are supposed to be like, you know, the central hub for all things TF2 HUD related because there's so much in the HUD community and so many people are getting into making their own HUDs now that it's nice to kind of, you know, put it all in one place. Uh, but I did mention that he's doing tutorials on that website, and I gave him permission to use my own uh, tutorials. And so I, I assume that when the website comes out, there's going to be a surge of new people that are going to want to like begin to make their own HUD, and um, it's going to like remotivate me. So I, I think that whenever that website launches, I'll get back to it. But for the time being, I'm taking time off. I want to focus on other things. Um, speaking of which, that'll be the second topic we have on the agenda, um, which would be the topic of my, I guess, the status of my Twitch stream. Now, for those of you who don't know, I mentioned it briefly earlier, um, all of the free time that I would have otherwise spent in, like, video making, I've been putting towards live streaming. And, I mean, I guess I could stream, like, HUD tutorials and stuff on, on like, my stream, but I don't think that would be very fun to watch. Um, but I have mostly been doing live streaming with my summer, so uh, one of the things I wanted to announce about that is that my stream actually was as of July 9th, so almost three weeks ago, it'll be three weeks tomorrow, because uh, today's the 29th, um, I was partnered by Twitch. Now, for those of you who don't know what that means, um, it means that Twitch looked at my stream uh, when I sent in an application, of course, and they considered it active enough um, and, I, I guess, like, large enough as, like, a you know stream community that I was worthy of getting um, partnered by them. And what that means is uh, it allows me to put a delay on my stream, uh, which probably won't ever really come into play, but it could be useful for streaming like matches or whatnot. Um, it 
allows me to have full-time quality options, so that means even if you're watching on like your phone or something, you can just put it on mobile quality, whereas before there was only like the one option, unless I had like a bunch of viewers. Um, and now people can like subscribe to the channel and, uh, you know, it's just in general like a nicer thing, you know, it's a step closer towards, um, I, I guess, where I wanted my stream to go when I originally started. And I've been working towards it for like three years, and I was pouring like all of my free summer time in towards my stream because I'm like, you know, I can do this, I can get partnered, and uh, it finally happened, so, um, there's a funny story behind that, but I think they'll, I'll save that for another time, but, uh, I, I just wanted to uh, announce that I got partnered, for those of you who haven't heard, so that's cool, um, I, I promise that the lack of HUD videos hasn't been in vain, I've been being productive with it, um, and then, uh, uh, the next thing I wanted to talk about while we're on the topic of my stream partnership is the future of streaming, uh, there's two things that I want to talk uh, about involving that is, uh, and, th and that is um, college, because, you know, of course, I I finished up my first year of college, and I'm going back in, I I'd say probably like three weeks now um, for the semester, so I want to talk about, like, my schedule that I plan on doing, and uh, another, like, a direction that I want to take my stream. Um, so first, let's talk about college here. Uh, pretty straightforward, I mean, um, the one thing that I want to say is I actually got a single for next year, a single dorm, uh, whereas some of you who have like watched my highlights or have watched my stream probably know that there's a roommate in streams past where he would yell about himself being like a pirate or I don't, I don't even know man but um he was he was in the background and and uh, sometimes he was loud sometimes I was loud but uh, I don't know the whole roommate thing just didn't mesh well with me and um, as a result I was able to get a single for the the coming year. And that's good for the stream because it means that since I only have to worry about my own schedule, I can pretty much stream and do what I need to do when I want to do it. So that's that's cool. That means the quality of streams will definitely be on the standard of my at-home streams, but um, they might even be better. I mean, who knows? We definitely have better internet at college, so you can look forward to that. But my schedule is probably going to be limited quite a bit. Uh, as for when I'm going to be streaming, I don't really know yet. It'll really have to, like, I'll have to see what, like, the workload is of my classes and, like, when my classes are and whatnot. But I am going to continue to, I think, try to do my, like, daily, or I guess nightly, nighttime stream where I stream from, like, 12 to 2. I don't know, I might push the hours back to, like, 11 to 1, but I'm definitely going to try to stream at least two hours every night. So you can look out for that. Um, the other thing that I wanted to announce is that um, I guess officially announced, I've talked about it on my stream a lot, is that, you know, for those of you who have been watching my stream, you've probably noticed that I've, uh, as of April, started doing something in addition to TF2 on the stream. I've been doing Team Fortress 2, uh, like, you know, probably 66% of the time, but I've also been doing um, Diddy Kong Racing speedruns, and as of a couple of weeks ago, I've been doing Super Mario Sunshine speedruns, and um, I, I guess that's kind of like a step towards what I want to do with my channel. Uh, I'm definitely not quitting Team Fortress 2, you don't have to worry about that. Um, but uh, what I do want to do with my channel is I want to kind of like bridge the two communities, you know. I've been really wa like getting into watching speedruns and doing my own speedruns, and I would definitely like to be a more, not integral, but I would like to kind of integrate myself with the speedrunning community, you know, get to know some of the people that run games there and like have some of their community, you know, like, f you know, flood over into my, like, our, uh, our stream, my channel. And vice versa, you know, so some of you TF2 guys who might have not ever experienced speedrunning before will be able to, you know, go out and find other speedrunners or watch me run games, and I, I think it'll be good. But I, w I do want to announce that, like, I'm not going to be probably streaming TF2 100% of the time anymore. So I apologize if that bothers any of you, but, um, I don't know, streaming pubs for, like, six hours a day is mentally exhausting, so being able to do something in addition to TF2 is definitely refreshing. And just to confirm that I am not, um, just to confirm that I am not, like, you know, quitting TF2, uh, with the addition of, you know, getting a sub button on Twitch, I promised you guys I would do this, so I went ahead and did it, and I bought a 24-slot NFO server located in Chicago, and it is a no-crit slash fixed spread with no random damage uh, pub server. And it, I think it's just called a raise server or something like that. You know, it's kind of a tacky name, but uh, I, I think it does a good job of, like, saying, you know, what community it's for and also um, what type of server it is. Um, but I wanted to let you guys know that. 
uh, because I bought it probably like f four or five days ago, probably almost a week ago at this point, and we've been adding new stuff. I can't talk tongue twister. Adding new stuff to it every single day. Um, we've been adding new maps, new plugins, uh, whatever the case may be, um, to the server, and uh, we're we're just trying to like get the word out. You know that way it can maybe be populated even when I'm not streaming. Because I think it's a really nice server. It really is. And uh, if I were looking for a pub server whenever I was, um, I guess, in my days of, of active pubbing back in, like, the olden days of 2010, 29, 29, 2009, um, I would have liked a server like this. So uh, I'll go ahead and put the IP to that server in the description down there. Um, but I use it mostly when I stream right now, and I don't know if it'll be ever full outside of that but I'm hoping you guys can help fix that because I, I think it would definitely be a nice server to keep populated um, so if you're ever bored you know give it a check out let me know how it is hopefully it's well um, but I think that's about it you know I, I just to kind of summarize I've not been doing my HUD tutorial videos a lot because I've been focusing on getting my partnership which I got and as a result I also got a server so that's kind of like what's been going on this summer. Oh, and the speedrunning thing, of course. We're going to be doing speedruns more on the channel as well. Might even, like, get onto SRL and, like, do some speedrun races and stuff. It, it should be fun. I'm looking forward to what the future holds. Um, but that's that's pretty much it. Hopefully this kind of clarifies some things. I don't really think I did the best job of uh, wording things, but... Um, I don't know. If you have any questions, you can leave a comment down below. And normally... Uh, I don't know. I, I Lately, at least, I haven't really been responding to YouTube comments, but I'm going to make an effort to this video to make sure that I can try to respond to every question you guys might have, um, because I do want to, like, make sure you guys are, like, okay with everything that's going on. You know, I, 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 I do feel really guilty about not doing HUD videos, um, and so I want to try to make it up to you guys uh, in whatever way possible. Um, oh, and I, I guess the last way you can contact me is if you need to get a hold of me, uh, or do you just want to like ask me directly and not through YouTube comments, you can always tweet at me. Uh, my Twitter handle thing is at RaiseFire, uh, not RaiseFire like it is on the YouTube here, but just R-A-Y-S, uh, I think that's right, <laughs> yeah, I can smell, I promise, F-I-R-E. Anyways, thanks for watching guys, uh, listening to me ramble for a while, hopefully I cleared some things up, and I do appreciate the continued support, you guys are awesome. And I hope to see some of you on my streams in the future. All right, have a good one, guys. Thanks for watching.